This morning, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has reportedly made up his mind about running for president. As he heads to Iowa today, sources tell ABC News DeSantis is privately telling allies he intends to launch a 2024 bid for the White House. And his team believes an announcement will come after the end of the Florida legislative session in May or June. The news comes as DeSantis' top Republican rival, former President Trump, faces new legal trouble. He's been invited to testify before a grand jury in New York, according to sources familiar with the matter. The grand jury is investigating Trump's role in the alleged hush money payment to Stormy Daniels before the 2016 presidential election. In New York, potential targets of investigations must be given the chance to testify, a strong indication that an indictment could soon follow. In a lengthy statement, Trump denied having an affair with Daniels and called the case a political witch hunt. <laughs> President Biden, meanwhile, in battleground Pennsylvania, outlining his $6.8 trillion budget plan at a rally in Philadelphia. My plan is going to reduce the deficit by $3 trillion over 10 years. The plan calls for new spending on things like family leave and universal pre-K. It would also shore up Medicare and aim to lower prescription drug costs. We also have to ask the wealthiest and biggest corporations to begin to pay their fair share. His budget has no chance of passing in the Republican-led House, but the president is using it to lay the groundwork for an expected re-election bid. Also making headlines this morning, Republican presidential hopeful Nikki Haley. At a town hall in Iowa, Haley said she wants to change the retirement age for Americans currently in their 20s and also limit Social Security and Medicare benefits for the wealthy. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.